on the first hole at Cardona Golf Club and it is absolutely freezing, we'll be the only ones on the course all day so we'll do this quick and brief, we're going to discuss different pitching techniques so Steve's going to explain his technique first that he uses on the golf course I'm going to explain mine and then we're going to discuss probably the best golfer of all time Tiger Woods, how he sets up differently compared to a lot of amateur golfers and how you could learn from Tiger Woods to get your to groove your wedge play in the right direction. So Steve, let me you you start first. You're so you're I the guest. Ball. Yeah, go for it. How I pitch the ball. I uh, air time. Yeah. No no chip and run, get the ball in the air. So we're using the bounce, using the back of the club. Uh, don't want to use the leading edge at all, want to make sure you use the back of the club. So I get a little bit flippy. I feel as though the club head passes the hands. To let the club head pass the hands to allow the bounce to work, but also a little body turn. Yeah. Okay, so if the body doesn't turn and I flip like this, I'm going to go left or I'm going to thin because I'm yeah. going to bottom out too early. So I have to make sure when I play a shot that I let the body turn, then let the club head pass the hands so therefore the grooves point back towards me. Yeah. And that's what's putting the loft on and keeping the loft on. Okay, yeah. All right, the body's turned right through as you can see, built up with the target. Those grooves are pointing back towards myself and the camera, as you can probably see, and that way I've got the back of the club to make contact with the ground. Boom. So not be taking much of a divot today, No, it's quite fun, isn't it? It's quite fun. <laughs> so guys, here's Steve's, Steve's technique and how he hits the, the wedge shots. Sure. Yep. So I, my technique's pretty, pretty similar. What I do is I set up my lower body slightly left, which helps me keep the, right, the hands slightly outside on the way back, if yep. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So if I was to stand square, my hands have a tendency to go inside, and then I'm going to be too shallow. So I'm, I set up my lower body left, and then I feel like my hands always go outside my right foot, which keeps me hitting down on the golf ball. Yep. And to help me maintain bounce, what I feel like I'm doing as I'm coming through, Steve said that mentioned that you try and rotate your body towards the target. I try and get my chest to point to the sky as quickly as possible after impact, which is going to help me shallow out. So, so body turns through as well. Yeah. You take the club more on an outside path with a, a left aim. Yeah. That way the body's turning through yeah. and the back of the club is straight to the ground. Because you can, if you stand square, you've got a tendency to roll to the Absolutely, ground. yeah, of course. Therefore, you get that foot off the Yeah, well done. Very good. To the club, the path of the club goes out away from the body, then the body turns, bring it all back. So, cutting across it a little bit, a little bit sheer. Easy. I feel like my body stands up to the sky as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, so you get up and out of it, yeah. yeah. Guys, we're going to talk about Tiger Woods and how he sets up to the golf ball. He sets up pretty similar, he must have stole the technique from me. <laughs> <laughs> so, he sets up, he sets up similar line, ball to target line, he sets up with his feet slightly left. Tiger's kind of always had a tendency to be too shallow, which means the club goes on the inside and then hits it down too early. So what he tries to do is he aims his lower body left. Because it's such a short shot, we need to try and kind of preset our hips left to try and help us turn through it. And what he feels like he's doing is, a lot of golfers who struggle with pitching, is they reduce the dynamic loft, so they reduce the loft on the golf club, and then that kind of affects the, the, the trajectory too much. Yeah, it's so. bringing leading edge more into play. Especially in this sort of shots, what last thing you want, yep. So I always feel like Tiger Woods always felt like, see, the, the, he always felt like he kind of flipped his wrist on the way back, flipped, the, flipped his hand open. Uh huh, yep. So instead of going back closed. So by flipping the hand open, he's creating loft. Yeah. So he's flipped it to put the loft on. Yeah. And then released it through impact. Yeah, yeah and absolutely. And he's utilising the bounce, so he went. Yeah, so it's all about the bounce, isn't it? I mean, left. you, me, Tiger, we're all using the bounce, absolutely. Yeah. So he sets his hips left. Opens the club face on the way back. As he comes through, what he feels like he's doing is he's trying to get his hips in line or his shoulders in line with his hips as he's turning through. Yeah, that makes sense. a lot of connection yeah. between upper and lower body. Yep. Yeah, but it's not always weight's not back here, it's kind of forward and then we can move towards the target. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Show me one of the tigers. That was better than yours. Better than <laughs> I should start, stick with that technique. Brilliant, well done. Good. So guys, if you've not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you subscribe to Steve Johnson PGA. Yes, correct? that's correct. Yep. And myself, Jamie Allen Golf. Make sure you like the video, share the video around to your friends so they can improve their pitching Sick. and become Big Tiger Woods overnight. Thanks for listening.